imagine is pro training. Side on. It's a fucking awesome exhaust for this boat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jack. Sorry, Jack. Sorry, Jack. Probably snap off. Drive. Yeah, that's pretty much holding the weight. Right. See, I reckon we just cut them both off, do 10 degrees. Yeah. Put it on there. Call that our line of truth. Let's put it up there and just see how, like, just in case the angle's screwed up, measure it off that side. Around there. Yeah, feel that? Yeah, it's not far off, yeah. All the stuff around here that I'll we'll give it another markup. Take a bit more off. So this process allows us to basically true up on a completely flat surface. So we buff down with a flap wheel down to that line and we know we're working with pretty much as flat a surface and, and as true a surface as we can get. So I'm sort of lined up. Can you get yours level? Right, you good there? Yeah, reasonably, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's... It's not lined up but it's within a centimetre this way which is we can work with that like see there and there yeah so we need to go back with this bow line yeah so we need to get our angle so that that's an even gap and then we just need to literally go back hey eh? yeah so you can see that back line there we've gone through and basically marked out 80 millimetres using that front tube the cleaned up front tube is our source of truth so we'll go through you can see there it's, it's pretty straight and we'll buff it back into being perfect We'll cut that off with a five inch grinder probably and then we'll just move that tube back so you can see there's a bit of distance at the front there that we've got to cover. So we'll be able to pull that front tube back 80 mil, which pretty much gets it close to the hull. I think I need to chop more off the inside of this. Take some of that off there. And a wee bit off through there. See, if you went down a wee bit, we'd just about have that joined up. Okay, I'll have to knock that off to do it, but now we have to be critical. Now it's got to be. Yeah. Well, let's just, let's just fucking cut it. We've got to be brave. So, day one of dinging one. We managed to get uh, the two tubes on the side welded on, or tacked on. And we managed to get this front one put together. So, a bit of a tack set up there and the angles and everything like that. Pretty happy with how tight that got. You can sort of see there's not a lot of gap. Easy enough to weld all the way around there. However, this one here is proving to be more problematic. So, we're going to go upstairs, we're pretty exhausted, we'll go and get some food, have a bit of a think and figure out how to get that 10 degree angle to work properly. Okay. I was putting the rubbish out and I just figured out how to do the tubes while my brain was off in La La Land. It's incredibly simple, I just need to basically weld the front tube on and then measure the side distance from side to outer side to side and then inner side to side and transfer that over to a tube 
and, and trim it to fit. Make sure I cut it, say 100 mil, or it's a 10 mil either side too long, and then sand it down to fit perfect. It'll work easy. Simple. Simple. Huh. Yeah. Your idea, isn't it? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, yeah, welded up there. Yeah, yeah. will sit about like that, and you have, because this has to align, mm. we well, actually probably slightly rotated like that to that one there. So, what we actually need to do before I weld it on is we need to take our zero point, which is so that there zero is basically our source of that's our very front of the boat, basically, mm. across there, and then we have to transfer that 180, 180 degrees to wherever that line is here. So we had a few variations of alloy tacked on here so that we could test a few ideas and there's five different welds on there that we have to clean off to be able to weld this on. But what we're thinking, we've had it, we initially we thought we'd try and stick it on and get this one perfect and then do the adjustments in the corners but that was proving next to impossible so what we're thinking is actually this is, uh, we were thinking angles and the maths of it all and everything yeah. but it's quite complex for us because we have to we have to basically get this angle and that angle correct and at the same time we have to get it at the increase in height at the bow of the boat taken account of as well so there's there's like three different angles three dimensional angles that we have to try and figure out what they are and it's next to impossible to do so we're actually going to revert to a simpler system and use our cardboard aided design again so <laughs> yeah got a massive sheet of real estate sign that we're going to use um but what we're thinking is basically weld this on where we want it and then we're going to essentially around yeah make make tubes out of that and so we're, we're cutting with scissors yeah <laughs> instead of grinders um, and, and get it to fit. We'll and get then, it to link up, eh? Yeah. And, yeah. and then we'll use that on the. We use that as a template over the metal. Yeah, because tube. then we can, once we've got that, we can literally unwrap it, put it on top of the aluminium tube, and draw the lines. And we know that we're going to be pretty much spot on straight away. We don't have to do a lot of guesswork at that point. 5, 105. 1055. Put it on there, maybe. So, uh, 1055, right? 0555. Five, five. Five. Hello! <laughs> I'm just putting it on so I don't forget. Oh yeah, okay, go. Uh, five, zero, zero, two, two point five, seven, seven five. five. Yeah. All right, cool. So I'll now we need to adjust. I'm not. <laughs> 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 don't forget. Oh, don't forget. Oh yeah, no. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're just sitting over the pile. Yeah, we just have a bit of a tidy up around the boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good goal, though. <laughs> We're aim for that. Okay, Stretch right. target. <laughs> sea trials at five. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we figured it out. Because I need to be able to figure where that line is because that tells me how much rotation to put on that bow tube to line up with the side tubes. And then as you said, you're trying to save actually on board the brew peg itself. Yeah. The smaller this is, yeah. the better it's gonna fit on board. hundred percent, yeah, yeah. So keeping yeah. this a tiny dinghy is, is what we're trying to achieve. Better. Yeah. Because the bit of time I've spent mucking around with boat designing boats and stuff with that, it's very easy to go, oh, another hundred mil. Yeah, yeah. But so you're gonna put that deck up here as well, so yeah. you know, it'll work quite good, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's kind of surprising how much volume you're gonna have underneath it. Mm. Like if you go yeah, halfway, well, you up tube. halfway up that tube, you don't really want to go halfway no, up this tube, no. halfway up that one. There'll be a bit of space under there. It's me and my video called. You got T minus ten. What is it? Video call? Yeah, with mum. Oh. I haven't seen it for a few weeks. So. If you get this wrong, it's impossible to make this work. But if you get it right, this is actually really simple to solve. Because then it's just measurements, you know. So I would have done it by eye. 
Yeah. That looks about right. Yeah. And it would and we take that, take that. Probably initially we would have too, but <laughs> yeah. After yeah, the well, fifth time of doing it, you go, hang on a minute, I'll take a pattern. <laughs> unfortunately with this you've actually got to be pretty much like within five mm. mil. Yeah. Haven't yeah. you? Otherwise, yeah. you know, this just it doesn't line up, you just yeah. never weld it. And and it's because you've got such a big oval, mm. you're trying to align two ovals. So mm. it doesn't take much to be oh, slightly we're, crooked. We're never gonna fix that. <laughs> yeah, it's worth slowing down at this for day. Yeah. When engineering involves sewing equipment. The main thing about doing a job like this is you've got someone to blame when it doesn't go right. Yeah. <laughs> the part-time engineer that comes in and out and does a little bit of math, yeah, piss off. One, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you guys might have been right. What have you got? There I've got, it's uh, 1060. So it's only five mil out from what you guys had. That sounds good. 1060 is really good round numbers. After much deliberation from the Brains Trust, we've basically figured out how to get a line. So we create a line horizontally at the very front of this tube, um, what's gonna basically become the front of the boat. And then we need to figure out how to get the exact same horizontal line at the back that's um, exactly 180 degrees around the circle. So um, the complete opposite side, if that, if that makes sense. Um, the easiest way I can think of doing that is just halving the circumference of the circle and then measuring from side to side to make sure we get it spot on. I've got it within a millimetre which is, is close enough for what we need. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to just use my angle iron. I'm using angle iron to draw the line because that way I know I'm going to get it horizontal because I can't put the angle iron skew if on the tube because um, the angle just won't allow it to sit right or it'll start rocking and whatever. So when I know the angle iron is like sitting flush and it's not like rocking and moving around, I've got it horizontal. So I'll put that line on and then I'll just double check it by checking up the circumference again, doing the half circumference trick. So before the wind comes up, it's starting to get a little bit sort of looking like it's gonna show up for the rest of the day. I'm gonna weld along the seam on the top of the tube here for this front um, bow tube. The reason being is once I've got this on, it's gonna be really difficult to actually access it. So I'm gonna weld it now while I've got it out on the bench. I can control it from the wind and it's a piece of cake weld out, you know, on the horizontal like this. What I'm trying to do is get these horizontal and I'll do that by adjusting that tube rotated that way. You'll get what I mean in two seconds. It will become obvious. Okay. They should be parallel, which is good. So we want to measure that up. That's essentially our tube, but our tube is twisted. Haha. <laughs> it's working. What I'm trying to get is for them to be parallel. See how there's a bit of a one side and the other? You can sort of see they're overlapping when you look down the string lines like that. The way that I adjust it is by adjusting this tube. If I pull that down, see that? They go parallel. That's too, that's too high. That there is getting close to spot on. If I do that, I know that this tube here won't be sort of trying to do a twist when it comes up to the bow here. I think we have it. So, what I've got, the tube is square to the transom, that bow tube. If I can come down here, it's bloody hard to tell. Where are we? There. I think that's as close as I'm going to get it. I have to hold a little bit of tension on the tube just to keep the string straight, otherwise they droop and it's a bit hard to tell. Only putting a fraction of attention on it, but I think that's our win. So, what the plan is now, I'll weld that in a bit stiffer because I just don't trust that that's going to stay there. Um, and then we'll start doing cardboard aided design for those linking tubes, start seeing if we can get this to take shape. Okay, so it's still a tack. You can sort of see there it's tack done in the wind. It's um, not pretty, but it's absolutely enough to hold to get these side measurements. One weird little thing I've found, I've had to take the lid off my spool gun because for some reason, 
when I put the lid on and then shut it, it doesn't um, allow the wire to come out. So it's obviously jamming up on something. So I have to, I don't know, file something away or figure it out. But it's, I mean, I've not modified anything. I'm using the factory wire and everything. So I'm assuming something weird's going on. Anyway, it works beautiful with the lid off. If you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you'll know that I'm a big uh, advocate of using the right tool for the right job. Um, CAD is an amazing tool for designing anything complex. Obviously by CAD I mean cardboard aided design. Um, because we're outside, it's uh, potentially a water environment, so we need to use something waterproof. We've got Corflu aided design, so um, that's a, a slight upgrade to our normal program that we use. Awesome protractor. Okay, so it's about there somewhere. Does it look about right. My grain. Oh, right. Okay, so let me show you what we got. So, we got this awesome tool. It's a little, basically, it's called a mitosaur mitre, mitre protractor, and essentially, it halves angles for you. So if you want to cut, if you want to do a 90 degree join, you need to cut two 45s to join them together evenly. So if you, what if you're doing weird angles like 116 degrees or something, you know, completely bizarre, you need to essentially halve your measurements. So in our case, we actually do have, where are we? That way. That there is our angle. So that angle is actually a 116 degree um, angle in this area here so we need to figure out what halfway is thankfully this saw tells you exactly what to cut so if we take a zero up here and then follow it down spin it around it's a bit easier to see that way so you got your zero and you got 60 59 58 zero is lining up with 58 we know we have to cut a 58 degree angle in our tube and they're going to join perfectly so this little gadget is an awesome wee thing to help speed up the process of this dinghy build. So Jess and I have just spent the last, I don't know, hour and a half. Half an hour. Two hours. Half having, an hour. Having a conversation. 20 minutes maybe. <laughs> what a crock of shit. <laughs> <laughs> we both have an idea how to do the, the, um, the, the gap. And on there's the, only one on way that's thing. right. So the conversation yeah, is not... Yeah, he's, tr he's trying really hard to be very chivalrous, but the conversation he knows isn't... that I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're using the word right, wrong. <laughs> so I'm suggesting just using a template and just cutting the template to the angles. And he's suggesting getting the angles, what he thinks are right. <coughs> Using maths, <laughs> using and, maths and trial and error and that was previously, yeah. We, so, so I've Which, had. Which, um, by the way, I hate to point out, but you haven't done with within three days. You haven't got that that angle yet. No. No. So, highly likely you're probably not going to get that angle in the next half hour. Well, if you stop fucking talking, I might. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, neither one of us is sure. <laughs> That our, our, our idea is right. One of us isn't sure. No, no, he admitted before he wasn't 100% sure, sure. I'm 99.5% confident <laughs> I know exactly how to do this now. Just like to say that. <laughs> That's not what he said about five minutes ago. It's interesting those numbers change when the camera goes on, darling. <laughs> the fish I caught was this big. <laughs> right. How big this big? Yeah, the one handed fisherman. Yeah. <laughs> how big was the fish? Oh, I was about this big. Oh, it was this big. So we're going to go with maths and he's going to get it wrong first and then I'll just come in and whoop in and save the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'm wrong. Yeah. <laughs> just because you write critical in a line doesn't make it critical, baby. You wait and see. You'll be like, wow, that's, that's pretty critical. <laughs> As the kids used to say back in the day, radical, we can say critical. Alright. So what I need to figure out is... What's that darling? What do you need to figure out? Do you need some help there? Or are you okay? No, no. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm all good in the hood. I'm just waiting to see this idea just... Work? Work perfectly here. Can you hold that on that... I don't know, you here? can't do it yourself? No, I can't. That's a fantastic idea. <laughs> see the fucking shit I have to put up with work on this? He keeps telling me that my idea is wrong. 
but it can't be done that way. Where would you be without your fancy gadgets? My idea doesn't require fancy gadgets. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I need to figure out how to hold the fancy gadget. So on the dot. I'm right. Yeah, cool. I'm right now. Okay, you good? Yep. Okay, so might have cut the one five two point five. We had fifty seven point five, so cool. Essentially what we need to get to is a stage where I've got both of these tubes cut at the right angle and then we can get the template and essentially wrap it around, mark it out and then unwrap it, roll it back around a new alloy tube and that template will become our, our um, guide as to where to cut that alloy tube. Once we've cut it, it should fit absolutely perfect inside the, the gap. This, is, this can't be cut, this can be cut, so we're going to be trimming it in on an angle like that, very very slightly, not, not a lot. like. I don't know, maybe a, maybe a centimetre, something like that. that. That angle there is 11 degrees. That's what it's saying. The other knowns, and then we've got our variables. But this is our side tube here, and this is our bow tube up here, and that's the joiner that we have to create. The critical bit, so the critical pieces are the outside edge of the side tube, and the inside edge of the bow tube, because this, this outside corner of the bow tube and the inside corner of the side tube are possibly going to be cut because the angles that are on there now are made for when this bow tube was forward maybe six inches or something like that and I've brought it back which means that these angles are now going to be wrong because as you um, if it's if if the tubes out quite away the angle is going to be sort of quite steep and as you bring it back the angle has to be cut away at this bow. You have to hack some off the outer edge because you can't alter this edge. So if you imagine it sitting like that, do you see what I mean? They overlap and you have to start hacking more off in here. Mm -hmm. So that's what I have to figure out is how much am I hacking off? Okay, so have you done that yet? Sort of. Is this the enema here? Maybe. I'm not, that's the bit I'm not real confident on is I know I have to do <laughs> it. I know I have to do it. I approximately know what I have to do, <laughs> but I'm getting more and more hazy as I go down the, getting close to picking up a grinder route. So, so why would it be wrong then? Because I've done the measurements wrong somewhere. And the worst case scenario is we have to start again? I have to get more tubes and start again. Okay. Yeah. Which I don't really want to do that if I can help it. But this seems right, doesn't it? Maybe. I'd probably want to check it another couple of times just to be certain. Because I've, I've got one shot at cutting it right. So this is this angle. This here is half that. Yeah. And this one here is half that. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, I'm not real. Yeah. But remember, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're doing a template. Once you've got the rough, like, it close enough, then you're doing a template, right? Yeah, but I still have. I have to have the angles spot on in order for the template to work. So what do you have to do to check the, te the angles then? Um, probably just more measurements, just to just to like double check, I'm double checking my double checking. More than anything else I think. The only question I have is how did you get this angle from measuring that angle? Ah, uh, because I, I, I know what that angle is there, if you carry that straight through, mm -hmm. I, I know what that angle is, mm -hmm. across there, mm -hmm. so then I can calculate all the rest, just with maths, because triangles have 180 degrees, so you can just start deducting. If, if that's 30 degrees, you know that that's 150 degrees, because you've got to deduct it from 180, which is a straight line. But this is, with this angle being where it is, yep. so it's an incorrect number. Yes, and so, that's where I'm starting to give it. So hang on, hang on, hang on. So why don't we do one at a time? Because you can cor you can correctly figure out this angle here if that one's correct, right? And that's more likely to be correct because you know how, what you've got to do there, right? So why don't you cut that one first and then reorganize, redo this one, and then we cut to that one? Because then it'll be accurate if this angle is right. I've got enough metal that if I fuck that up, mm. I can get another front tube rolled. Okay, so, so that's, that's the best one to start with. That's the one to fuck around with. Alright, so let's do that. Alright, let's do the bow So tube. double check the measurements of what you're going to need it to be. Yeah. And then that's what you're cutting to, not what it is right now, right? Yep, yep. Okay. Alright, good. Going out the sunlight again. Cover up. 
it's the other hand. Where does that cap go? You're not wearing it, are you? Okay. Cutting that, trimming a bit off oh, this yeah, side. Going okay, yeah. It'll make it less extreme. Okay, yeah. that's what we're going to do then, eh? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we're trying to join an extreme oval to a, a circle, basically, yeah. so we're having to figure out the angles. God, I hate this because I know that I'm, I'm there's 98 chances to get it wrong and one chance to get it right. So just relax because we can replace this one you're holding right now. It's yeah. just a bit of work. So yeah. that's sacrificial. So we've got, yeah. to, we've got to do this from one part to another. So this is, this is to a cut. What do you think? Right. Increments in the first two. These are the measurements that Dame's working to. Right, well that's, that's it, that's how we do it. So, that's how much has to come off. No. Yeah. It wouldn't have been much of an adjustment for that, that's what has to come off. See, I could have used my plan there. <laughs> You're gonna template that, but and now, I could have said that. Now we know it's accurate. That, <laughs> what, that half one's a mil? <laughs> that one's not, that. that'll be more, more out. Well, hopefully, we can only hope for some excitement. All right, I would should we do this one now and yeah. get that done? Uh, right, so let's, let's measure this guy out. Yeah, let's just measure it, eh? Let's, let's just, just measure it. Let's just measure it out. I think that's a good idea. Okay. Actually, it could be that these curves are so close together that we don't have to cut them at all. Yeah, because they're so close that we don't have to cut them at all. Don't laugh. Might just template it. If that's the case, <laughs> we can template it piece of piss. But if they're out... Yeah, but what do I get when screwed. I'm right? That's the question. A hearty handshake. <laughs> So this I get to dance around and say I told you so. You can do that if you want. Mm -hmm. So this, but it won't be because the template worked, it would be because we knew the angles were correct so that we could template it with confidence. I didn't need to do this, I already knew they were correct. <laughs> How did they get correct? Through maths. <laughs> Through a long winded two hours. Time flies when you're doing trigonometry, or whatever this is. Geometry I think isn't it? Geometry? Geology? I don't know. It's not geology. <laughs> I'd be chirping if it was geology. Geology isn't a real science. What's my angle for there? I don't know what angle you're taking, baby. What? I'm, my angle is what? My angles? What? My angles? Ticka, ticka, ticka. 150. What? One five two. You know, I thought one of us would be wrong. What I'm surprised about is both of us are really right. But one of us knew that we'd be right after this process. One of <laughs> us didn't need this process. <laughs> <laughs> Difference of six centimeters between one side and the other. Huh. 60 mil. I'm trying to double check that this angle is cut right is the right angle for this tube. I've got it. We had 157 before. Me and Rod cut 157 degree bend. We're now at 152 because we've moved this in. This is now 152. Five mil, yeah. Five degrees, yeah. And that's why it's not working out. While Jess is gently making her way down the stairs to give us a hand to do this dinghy, it's possible that she was right. Um, however, I would like to point out that there was a 2.5 degree difference between what the dinghy was and what it is now, um, which is what I was trying to confirm that there wasn't something massive going on. It's so close we're going to template it up. Um, but it pains me to say this, you know, probably could have saved a day by just going, oh, what the hell, she's probably right. I'm thinking the easiest way to make a template of a tube is to roll it around a tube. So this is um, my tube. So I basically got a tube inside a tube, and what I'm thinking, go around with a knife, and I'll cut all the way around this edge. This end of the, of the alloy tube, I'm thinking is, is pretty much bang on for that front bow tube, and then we just have to modify whatever angle, etc., to get to that side tube dimension. Or you can pull and I'll push or... Why don't we do slice, slice? 
Yeah. It's nowhere near as easy as I thought it was going to be with a template. I, I actually think we should just not bother with this and just go straight to the middle. Yeah, that's what I'd be doing. Yeah. It's too hard with that. Yeah, but like, okay, general theory. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's good to test close theory. enough, you know, yeah, I yes. can now go into this. Yes, yeah. dump that. Yeah, yeah mine. Yeah, okay, cool, thanks. Idea. Yeah. Tough guided in. Do you want me to hold it? And you... oh. I'm just still doing brain things inside my head at the moment. No oh, participation from the audience. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think this is? Fucking Panto? <laughs> oh no, he didn't! <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> You know what I need to do? Get another colour pen. We'll Take all the marks off. off. Yeah. If the angle of this guy is, isn't is spot on to the angle of this guy, the ovals are going to be different. Yes, that's right. I wonder if we should uh, take this off. I wonder if we should take that off and tack weld it to this tube and then try and feed them in together. Oh, yeah. Great idea. Like with what me and Rod had earlier, but... Yeah. Because the... then you're only cutting that side. Yeah. Mm. It's um, first thing in the morning, it's already stinking hot, so we've got our big sunshade up. However, it's blowing about, I don't know, 15 knots. It's supposed to get up to over 20 today, so uh, I don't know how much audio we're going to be able to capture because it's going to be a bit awful with that thing blowing, but um, that's kind of what it's like sometimes building in the yard um, in northern Australia. Anyway, we're getting it sorted. Slowly, I've got about, I've got about probably 50, 60 mil to come in. Oh, okay. So, um, you got that guy coming today? Yeah, you? just got to go out front of the airport. So. Mm. Good, then we'll have it. Nibbling now, I think. Yeah, I reckon we'll have it tanked today. Yeah. You just got to have more fun getting there than being there. Nah. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Yeah. We were actually talking about that this morning. Were you? Yeah, yeah, we didn't think we were having enough fun <laughs> getting too serious about everything. Yeah, so yeah. We decided to relax about it all. So. Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea, yeah. It's good to remind yourself, eh? Hey? Yeah, yeah, no, that's right. Yeah. Closer. Take 
take a little bit off the top of this one to get a bit more curve going on. Breakfast! Whoa! Huge gap! Yeah, that's what I'm trying to close up. It's quite a big distance there. There's nothing on the top and everything on the bottom. Yeah. What I won't do, I'll take more out of the top of this one, slice back like that to mm. bring them closer. I don't really want to take anything out of the bottom of either of them at the moment. Yeah, no, so what we're trying to do is get the distance shorter here, get this to close in, because then that'll allow this to come naturally in. Yeah. And once we're there, because you, you've got quite a bit to take off, haven't you? It's like the sign here. Yeah, yeah, it's about... About, it comes back this way, so this is the tube that gets cut, but it comes back about 50 mil, something like that, yeah. two inches roughly. Yeah. So, but the, I figure if we've got two inches to play, so we could get it right there, and then once we know we're right, we can easily trim back and even yeah, amount. Yeah, yeah, then you're just cutting yeah. that line, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. So, um, how Dane does this is that you'll, we're gonna just do it in incremental bits. Yeah. So, Dane will do a cut where it's kind of obvious it's, it's too far, holding it open and thankfully because we've got the 50 mil to play with you can go quite big jumps like he's doing right now <laughs> so I'm using the the side tube as my guide this one here yeah and then just drawing an even line basically all the way around this so even on the side tube means that it's not even on the other tube which is what we want Really close. Really close. So we just need wow. A, I'm just actually going to take the marks off because there's too many marks. Yeah, yeah. So I'd take that V out because it's just holding yeah. it that little bit out at the bottom yeah. there. Okay, let's give that a shot. Uh, so that's, that's actually getting quite close. It's getting there. Because it's not going to be perfect. You're going to have to weld a If I bend the hull down weld, more. If I bend that hull down more, like if you look under here, just it's touching just there, the hull's touching the, the tube, oh, yeah. tube and hull. Yep. If I bend that down, yep. it's going to lower that. So we, ah, we didn't even consider no, this, did we? that's what I mean, I've got to get the hull out of there. Ah, it's a bit easier than I thought it might yeah. be, that's awesome. Okay, bend it well. Yeah. <laughs> so, down on the actual edge of the hull here, it's touching the tubes and holding them up out of alignment. So my plan is actually just to bend them away Put the tube in so that the tubes themselves line up and then i can always tap this back and then weld that at the end of it um, this is basically just a piece of filler if that makes sense alloy is so good because it's so pliable Soft, eh? yeah just use that um, ability of yours to start start getting a shape now i think if we take part of me little bits yeah okay. i'm thinking like um i'll swap out a flapper So you've still got the gap at the top. So the top, this is the worst bit at the top here. And then most of the way around I could I could tap and tack and it should be Look pretty at good. Look that, isn't that fantastic? Yeah. From that big gap. Good, okay so... I'll just shave another fraction off. You don't need the whole lot, just enough, eh? Nah, it's just, just a little wee bit. Just where it touches. So can you see that little black line there? I'll just put a dot there so I know where it is so I don't lose it. And there's another one here. See, so yeah, yeah, I just right. shaved that bit and that bit off. Yeah, nice. And it's just that that bit and that bit are touching on this tube over here. So, so it might get a, enough to come in. I'm hoping if I shave a millimeter, or, I'm hoping like if I shave like say a millimeter off, um, then it's going to bring it in enough up the top here because the further away, the further away I am, the more it's going to be exasperated. If that makes sense. Yeah. Good enough. Good be. Okay, do you want to line that front again? You're out by about 20. You, you moved move to, to you're happy? Yeah, you're right there? Yeah, you're good there. Okay. Just keep checking it because I'll probably move it off. Yeah. Still, I've got to go back slightly. Go, go that way slightly. Yeah, it's good. Yep, you're still right. Okay. It's getting close. It's so close. It's not there, but it's so close. 
over thought. Yeah. I mean, it might be a stupid thought. No, go for it. You're hitting that up. Yeah, you're probably knocking out around though. It doesn't matter if it's slightly out around though, does it? No, no, but like, because you've only got so much alloy, so if you move the top, you're going to squash the sides. No, but just like, I'm thinking just like a mil, two mil. I'm not talking the whole thing. Yeah, righto. Just enough to even it out to weld, you know? Let's try it. Do you want to move it back and we'll move it back. Actually, let's measure it all first so we know what we're doing. I'm thinking like not a direct up, like more like a tap tap up, yep. tap tap, you know, like a rounder. So what have we got? Okay. We've got, let's go on the outside. We've got two, three, two. Three, three. Let's just put it back on. Yeah. I know one mil is not enough. Yeah, but that's all I'm thinking. I'm not thinking a lot. <laughs> I reckon I can fucking push that down. Yeah, and weld it. Yeah, yeah. There's, I mean, just to squish, squish, squish. I okay. think there's enough cutting. Is what I'm saying. I think we're done on the cutting. Awesome. So it's you're gonna to get it square. You're gonna have to go off center. Does it make sense? Okay. Are you on centre then? I'm on centre now. Alright. So 192. So you're 5 mil like that. So you need to go that way. That, that edge needs to go that way. Which will take it off centre, probably 10 mil, 15 mil, something. Okay, maybe try that. Maybe get that measurement done first and then we'll check this one. Yeah, actually, um, hang on, I'll give you, a, give you a pen. So let's let's get it square and then mark a line so you know yeah. not... What do you mean? So yeah, here, here. Yeah, so where, where the, the bow comes up and you've got the tube like that, right? Mark a line on the tube at the front of the bow. So you, mean, you mean underneath, not anywhere here? You're yeah, under, yeah underneath think, the yeah. front there, yeah. I was thinking you're talking about something. No, no, you're right, you're right. Different. So go as far that way go as you on, can. Go on, another measurement. Yeah. Uh, 1926. 192. One, two, eight. Yeah. You're right, right there? there. Five mil off centre. Okay. Are you centred or are you on it's, the back? No, I'm back, on the... Forward and back lines? Yeah. Okay. Do. What do you aim to achieve doing this? Uh, just makes it easier to hold it, it gives us another hand. Honey, I really think that we don't need to worry anymore. Look. Yeah, I'm fine with that. That's a good, it's good enough for me. Yeah. Hey, no, I'm know? serious, look, you're out by just a couple of mil. Do you want to grab that? We've just got to make sure we're square. If, if we're square, we can work with it. If we're not, we have to get it square. Okay. We'll kill the boat two mil. <laughs> so the question we have to figure out then is a process question. Do we tack this all in and leave it and then just do that one as a separate piece? Or do we tack this in, weld that one properly, untack this and then put it on the other side as a template? My preference would be to design a template of this, just yeah. wrap a thing around and just cut. Yeah. So that we've got the shape. Yeah. Because I think they're gonna be different. Yeah, I think they're gonna be different too. Um, and then measure from the transom to here go to this line here and, and then the start one. from that place yeah that's yeah, what okay. i'd do yeah, and yeah. i'd leave this here but i wouldn't i wouldn't um i wouldn't take this in and leave and take this out i'd leave it the way it is okay so we may as well take this in then i think this is perfect the way it is right so we may as well take it in yeah as long as we can yeah we'll do that don't don't press it because you only got to take hold yeah no we'll be able to do that i think there's enough bend day eh? do yeah, you need yeah. to bang it up though get it to uh, meet halfway uh, let, let me show you what we're talking about the tubes are not quite perfectly uh, perfectly round, so they're a little bit oval, and they meet perfectly on the sides. But top and bottom, this tube here is is higher than this tube is here. So what I'm thinking is I'll tack it on the sides to get those ones good. I'm thinking of sliding a bottle jack 
um, right the way up to about here in this tube and jacking it up and, and actually stretching this one up, it'll pull the sides in and then tacking it all the way around. Um, it sounds a bit convoluted, but it'll basically get me a perfectly um, joined and matched pair of tubes. Um, and at that case, at that point, then this tube is going to be tacked in, and it won't be coming out from then on. So I reckon it's probably the easiest way to solve it. Um, because because it's my boat, um, I've decided that like a couple of mil out or a, a slightly off center, uh, off round tube is not a big deal. I'm I'm more interested in. Um, you know the the weld being a really good weld. I'm more interested in the, the shape being integ you know like having integrity. But it, to me, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's not going to split a weld or anything like that if I bang into some rocks or something. Because um, you've got to remember that these boats are not they're not here to be pretty. They're here to be functional. Um, even this one, which is more like the work ha work hack, which is you know getting people to and from a you know a, you know a wharf or something. You know I want it strong. I want it to be able to last. It doesn't worry me if it's slightly not perfect. And two mil, I'm fine with that. That was good. You probably want to have a little bit more angle. You're quite straight. You want to maybe come back slightly. So you're getting really good fusion, like you see, see around the edges here, see how it's kind of really melting in? Mm. That's what you want, that means you're melting the metals together. Yeah, that's, that's, I'm happy with that one. That's much better. Do you want to try a joint? Oh yeah. So what you want to do, I'll just, I'll just, I won't do it, I'll show you that. So you want to do, you're still doing your push, but what you want to do is you want to kind of do a little bit of a U-shape pattern Oh like yeah, that. get right across it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're trying to go up on that one slightly and then most of your heat you want on this one, because this one will melt faster. Okay. Because its edges always suck in the heat, so this will okay. melt faster, so you won't put, say, 70% of your time on this one, 30% on that one. Good. See, see here where you got that hole, that's because you're going a bit, bit wide, whereas when you went tighter, see how you end up coming up with a much better weld? So go a nice, real tight wee wee. That's it. Keep working forward. So see how you ended up with a big bubble? That's because your speed slowed down, but if you look at the start of that, you're quite good. Your forward travel is quite nice. Yeah, yeah, so you do, you do it good here, so you, you're kind of getting it even, so half and half. What I would suggest is you want to go smaller weave and faster travel. So um, we're at that stage where we think we've got it sorted, so be with us, we probably don't. <laughs> um, okay, so this is what we're gonna do, okay? So um, you can see there's a misalignment on most of it. It's, it's slight enough that we can use brute force to push down on it and, um, and push sides. And Dame's gonna do that bit and I'm gonna do these little tacks around it. So we're gonna start here because this is the best one we've got. That's the closest fit. We'll start tacking there, we'll cut this one off. And we're just going to work our way around. Dame's going to use brute force to push sides. We're just going to kind of manipulate it as we go around. We're going to work our way slowly around to try and keep as around as possible.
difficult. So you can see here we've got a bit of a misalignment that we need to figure out and I can't put enough physical horsepower into this to be able to align them up. So there's a real easy trick that we use. We um, found it when we were doing the hull plates. I'll show you a little tool that we put in there and it makes it real simple to be able to pull that up the size that we need it. Just got a piece of 50 by 25 box. Pop that in there like that. And then you can just take a crowbar and you can lever, see that? Perfect, all the way around. So it's a simple trick to be able to align, misalign things that you can't get enough power in. Oh yeah, if you can... Is that enough? Yeah. Okay, you right? Yep. Yeah, welding for now. Look and, at then, that round. and then we tap that in when we go to weld the hull on. Mm. So I'm actually going to take all of these pipes off. So I'm going to get them the shape welded. I'm going to take all of the pipes off, and then I'm going to go around and weld all of the joins up off the boat. Oh yeah. And then I'm going to weld it to the boat. Right. Big job, eh? Yeah. So now that we've got the three tubes that we've done so far uh, tacked together in relation to each other, they're not going to move. So we can unstitch them off the hull. That'll allow me to get all the way around the joins. So the reason I want to whip these tubes off like I have is you can see there's quite a gap there to fill up. So I need to go around and basically do the same trick. Let's put it on the other side. So I need to use that pipe that we've basically, well that tube that we've welded on there, that box section, and pull it all the way around so that it evenly meets the two pieces of alloy together. The other reason I wanted to take these off is because then I can actually go around and seam weld all the way along this join right the way around. Bit of a manky weld but it'll do. I'll go and do this one at the same time because once they're on the, the boat, I can't actually get to them. So I need to do that um, now. I also need to weld all the way around these um, joins. So with the tubes tacked back on, we're essentially measuring up this tube on that side and duplicating it over here. So you can see we're starting to get a few little black dots heading all the way around that tube. And that's essentially a duplication of that angle over there. What we are sort of stuck on at the second is how do we duplicate this outside dimension over here because we can't, um, yeah, the tubes, we don't necessarily know if they're placed exactly the same. So what we're thinking of doing is actually trimming the back end of them 
So I'll come around here again. So we're gonna go for our shape that we've been aiming for, but we're thinking, so we'll be cutting it in somewhere where that mark is, so 100 mil in, something like that, four inches. So we're thinking at the moment, if we trim that off on both sides, get them even, that's gonna give us a, a source of truth. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully that'll work. We'll give that a shot. We've been racking our brains. How do we get an accurate circle around here so that it's not gonna be skew if, you know, either way, because that's gonna affect the join, well, on the other tube, but it's gonna affect the join that we cut over there. One of the thoughts that we had was get a piece of paper, something that's got a bit of length, like maybe, I don't know, eight inches, 200 mil, something like that. Well, I don't know what that is, it's not, yeah, must be close to eight inches. Um, and wrap it around, so one edge has to be perfectly straight. If we wrap it around and align the edges, and it's flat on the tube, theoretically, I think it's gonna be as close as we can get to a perfect, um, perfect line to cut. So, yeah, we're just doing a bit of a hunt. Um, Trev's off shopping around the yard to see if we can find any bits. Um, yeah, don't know what we'll come up with. We'll go have a look. Nothing yet. So we found some core flute. We're going to use that. We're all the way around. No happy? I think that's good. See the shape looking that way now. What we're thinking. Oh, I'll keep the camera is we have to duplicate the shapes on this tube over to this tube. Mm -hmm. Like mainly that bend. We yeah. have to get that right. So yeah. what we're thinking is um, we've we've cut this off as true as we can and we're gonna like measure up every say five centimeters all the way around, we're gonna measure up and get a measurement okay, and yeah. transfer it over here. Yeah. But to do that we have to have this tube finishing true like we have to cut it true so we can't cut it skew if or anything like that but we also have to have it exactly the same as that one and if we get them the same then we then it's a simple case of just measure up mark measure up mark and then cut around it so it's a piece of cake but it's just how do we get this accurate so so you're um, using this is the that's our true edge rather than the transom yeah because we because so we so we're measuring from the transom to the back and making it the same here that's that mark ah, there okay. All right. Right. That so this is. I was the, just thinking of you yeah, using this. Yeah. No, yeah okay, so cool. This is the first point of truth. Yeah. Okay. But then we have to make that round all the way around because yeah. we have to take measurements on the outside all the way around. I know spinal welds are going to look gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming along. I'm going to flap them out, dig them down, and then do one weld all the way over the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah. That'll be lovely. And we cleaned up the round. tacks as well. I just. Yeah. I learned to alloy weld today. You mean it? It's good. Yeah. I'm like a ju judge of alloy. <laughs> and it's welding. I like it. It's great. It's important to learn to weld in 20 knots. It's a, yeah. 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 If you can do that, then you know, yeah. you've got a good chance of making a good weld. For anybody that's watching Jess weld when she was learning, bear in mind there was about 20 knots of breeze happening at the time. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. We've got half a dinghy done. Yeah, we can't see what's happening. Fair enough. Have a nosey. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no,